I'm Ben Farella, president of the Ben Farella Group and the proud father of Roman, Jacob, and Matteo. My father was a really big character. He was a big presence and a big personality, uh, but he was a very short, tiny Italian man. But uh, you certainly knew when he was in the room. Most wonderful memories of my father was when I was 12 years old. I was a, a kid that tended to get into a bit of trouble, and he wanted to find something for me to do this particular summer. And, and as being, being an Italian and being an incredible gardener, we had a huge garden in our backyard. He also had a hobby farm. We had tons of vegetables growing there. He thought, you know, I'm going to start a little business for Ben. And uh, he had his he had his foreman, Jack, Jack Kern. And his wife was a sign painter way back in the 70s. And uh, uh, they, they created the sign, which is actually in my boardroom here with a little tomato and a little carrot. And it said Ben's Vegetable Market. And he said, Ben, you're going you're gonna to have this um, business and, and you can help uh, harvest the vegetables and you don't have to pay for them, and you can sell them at this little stand that he built for me on this lot in the Highway 2 in Brockville, right across from the Dairy Queen, so it had lots of traffic. But he said there was only one rule. The one rule is you can't ask for any help. You know, you have to decide how much to charge for things, how to run your business, and this is going to be your learning experience. So being the cocky little 12-year-old kid that I was, I that this is no big deal and the first day came around and we had early tomatoes and I thought geez we'll charge a lot so I think I started charging ten dollars a tomato some ridiculous price and of course no one bought any tomatoes that day so I realized that God, I gotta figure this out so I asked my mom to bring me to the grocery store and then that was the start of me learning about research so I actually wrote down what the grocery store was charging for their vegetables and that gave me a basis for me to charge for mine and and it was really interesting because um, after a couple of weeks or so, I cobbled together a few hundred dollars or so, and and I was kind of upset that I wasn't getting the traffic that I was getting. So I went to to the radio station. I asked my mom to drive me again, and I went into the radio station, CFJR in Brockville, and I dropped my money down and said, I want to buy some advertising. They kind of chuckled and laughed that this 12-year-old kid was going to do that and said, sure, we can, we can do it for you. And I had thought, you know, you just went on the air live. I didn't know how it worked. And they chuckled and said, no, that we can help you with a script. And I said, no, 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 I want to record it right now. Let's, let's do it. So I went on air and I said, hi, my name is Ben Farrell. I'm 12 years old and no one's coming to my vegetable market. And we've got the best vegetables in Brockville and, and no one's coming. And I guess what happened was, uh, unbeknownst to me, I mean, this really connected with the community. They thought it was very cute that this 12-year-old kid was being that honest and authentic and compelling and the next day I had tons of cars and especially older ladies that were willing to, to, to bag for me and so on and so forth. So the end of the story is in, in five or six weeks in, in 1976 in Brockville, Ontario, I made four or five thousand dollars cash and uh, that was the start of me being a businessman and understanding about the power of advertising and communications and it was that wisdom uh, that my father had to get me started into something that I, I owe a lot to. Hi, I'm Ben Farella, and I'm proud to support your family story.